Alright, hey, what's up, alright, hey, what's up, everybody? Black the Ripper here. I'm gonna do this Ninja Gaiden 3 low percent Japanese version. I recently got the world record for this, so I'm a little nervous. I definitely want to do a good job today. It's a pretty tough run. I'd say there's a really strong chance PB Pace will be dead before Act 1 is over. <laughs> Let's just uh, get it going here. Hopefully we get a sub-15. Well, my current PB is 14.17, so you know, should hopefully get within a minute there. And I'm going to start right now. Let's go. Yo, KB. Just this first spot here is so easy to mess up. Getting those slashes. Looks really good luck, Edo. Gotta throw the star away here. There's a low percent. I can only use the small sword. Cannot use sub weapons to kill enemies or damage any bosses. Cannot get the big sword upgrade. No potions or one ups. Alright. Gonna hit this guy once and jump over him. No, I'm not gonna get a one cycle. No, I always miss by one. It's super hard to get that consistently. I don't know why. It's not that much different than the any percent version. Where you just put the fire shield on and stand there. Boost, we go. I love that trick. Another boost. The way the damage boosting works in this game is super fun to me too. As long as you are descending from a jump and fall onto enemies, there's basically no penalty for it. You just get some helpful iframes. <coughs> so I did the same thing back there. <coughs> I'm going to do it again right here. Just fall onto those guys. Otherwise, you got to stop and kill them to get through. Slow. This wall clip is a lot of fun too. There's really no trick to it, you just gotta be fast. Just gotta get to the platform there before the screen scrolls up enough to allow Ryu to actually stand there and it pushes you right into the wall. Let's practice some slash cancels because I'm gonna need that for the first form of the final boss. Get in there, turn around. Don't wanna get hit by that spike guy. Here, you can see it a little better when I do it again on this side. As soon as I see the top of that platform, jump for it. And you can see Ryu just kind of floats across it and slides right into the wall. Yeah, I know, KB. Look at me cheating again. <laughs> this doesn't really save any time here, though. It just makes this auto-scroller completely free. Auto-scrollers suck, so it's nice that there's really no risk of dying here. Just clipping the wall, climb all the way up. You can still get a frame perfect door there without it. This boss is one of the biggest reset points in the run. He's got a lot of different patterns he can move around in. So you can't get the fastest kill every time. Alright. It's a good boss there, actually. Oh no, missed the jump input entirely. Wow. Bounce. Gotta wait for just a moment so those platforms line up so you can just run across. You don't want to jump again there. It messes the whole thing up. Really can't take any knockbacks either. You get stuck here waiting for that platform to come back. Throw the star away again. Go under that guy. Kill them. Ew, why did he grab the wall? No. <laughs> Definitely did not load a save state. <laughs> Boost. Get a little wiggle. Ah. 
doesn't work every time. What? Wow. Alright, I'm gonna have to skip a D-boost coming up now. Make sure I still have enough health for this boss. Ew. Normally I would climb that wall and get up there fast enough to jump over that thing before it can shoot in my face. But I was a little slow that time, so I had to stop and kill him or I would've got hit. I normally would boost on those guys too, but I uh, have bad health situation here. Ooh. All right, we're gonna do this safe. All right, I'm a good like 30 seconds behind PB now because of that death. But... I don't even know what happened there. I swear I pressed the button. Anybody see on my input display if it actually registered an input there? <laughs> don't have to jump over these guys. Their hitboxes are weird. It's very difficult to jump over them without getting bogged. I just like to do it for fun. But you can totally just take your time and kill them. That last section of moving platforms, you just need to get there by 2.32 on the HUD timer. Alright. 4-1. At full health, we can go full ham. Just run through the spikes like they don't matter. That's why I play the Japanese version. Oops. I wanted to wait for those spikes. Now I'm gonna have to wait for these or I will die in the next screen. The US version of this game is pure evil. Everything does twice as much damage, so you really don't want to be diving into the spikes. It's like a third of your health in one shot. Alright, good start. Four, eight, four, and five times. Get over here. Six damage if you jump into the spikes in the US version is crazy. Alright, did a little trick there that I found. It despawns a bunch of things, clears the path, makes that section pretty free. Good, got the quick platforms. You get one chance at that or they never line up the same way again. We got the high bounce, perfect what we want to see. If he bounces low, you're not going to be able to get that to work. Oops. Got to wait for this guy to hit you so you can flip through him. Hey! Oh, wow. Alright, well, I can't take any more damage now. Oh no. Alright, well, I might have to take another death. Alright, we're gonna play it safe a little bit. Oh no. Well, I definitely have to take another death now. We'll just do it right here. Just get a free health refill. And now I can go full ham again. It's fine. I meant to do it. These guys are the same. Stupid hard to jump over those cannons without hitting them. The boost on this guy, the jump onto this guy. This boss fight, in any percent, is an absolute nightmare to get the quick kill. Low percent, he's so much easier. That was not it. Dude. Yeah, the any percent quick kill, you can totally kill him on the right side, right where he spawns in. It's super tough. 
to have to do a combination of the Nimpo cancels and the Slash cancels. Ooh, I got my swaggy no stop strat there. It's a death trap to save point two. This is Sir Huss' favorite stage. I like this stage a lot too. This is, I think it's neat that you can just slash while running on the ice and it doesn't stop you in place. Based on this guy. Get rid of my Nimpo. There's a fun wall clip strat. You gotta scroll the screen up just a little bit, any amount. Just gotta see the bottom of the screen, scroll up, and sink into the floor. Just as Ryu is about to fall off the screen and die, he pushes into the wall and you tap jump and get in there. This is really only optimal though for low percent or pacifist runs. In any percent you want to go the other way so you can get the scroll. It's also just faster. Let's do the fast thing. Oh, alright. Got a strat here that saves three seconds. If you boost on that guy and get through him without killing him, then it prevents the next guy from spawning. And you just jump straight across. We'll just do it the slow, safe way this time. Make sure I don't die there again. Super sweaty. That was a strat that I found and added in like a week before my last PB. Ooh, no, 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 no.
Hey. All right. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Could have taken a lot of damage there. So I'm gonna skip some D boosting here. Normally I would boost through that guy. Bounce over you, and then I would boost through this thing here too. Oh, we'll just face plant. Hey, there's a guy supposed to be here too. Sometimes he despawns. I wish I could figure out how to manipulate that. All right, we're at the final boss right now. Just rush now. All right, not bad. Could have been faster. Should be able to kill him before the second set of lightning bolts. Oops. Really don't want to take any more damage here. I have just enough health. Maybe we can get the fastest kill on the final form here. Need at least four health to get the fastest kill here because you have to boost through the heart after you break the shield off. Uh, I don't think I got enough hits on the shield already. Yeah. Nope. Normally I'd boost through the heart right here, get behind him, and get the last four hits and kill him. Alright, that's the game. Just wait for the fade to black to make the final split. Stop the timer. And sub 16. That's respectable. It's a pretty difficult run. Yeah, well, thanks for the GG's, everybody. Yeah, that's Ninja Gaiden Japan Sword only. It's super fun pretty decent. I had a 1436 in practice yesterday though. It would have been nice to like get get that good. But, yeah, one try. I'll take it. Yeah, thanks for having me.